Are you looking for a commercial level espresso focused grinder that's a real value? Well, stick around for an in-depth look at an affordable and solid performer. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Holatelove.com with the E5P from Chiato. So the basics, the E5P is a doserless grinder, so you grind directly into a portafilter. Its 300 watt motor spins a 64 millimeter flat stainless steel burst set at 1400 RPM. Grind size adjustment is stepless, so you can make extremely fine adjustments when dialing in your shots. The E5P is an on-demand grinder, pushing the portafilter to start grinding and release to stop. It's grinding pure and simple. There are no dosing presets based on time grinding. And for me, well, that's fine. Even when I'm using a grinder with time grinding, I tend to use them in a manual on-demand mode. Now, that's a personal preference, and I can see where some users, uh, especially in a commercial setting, would want timed grinding, but for me, I'd be weighing my dose when I'm that particular. Not having those time controls is part of what makes the E5P such a value. In fact, the E5P is essentially the same grinder as Chiato's E6P, which does have timed grinding. Same motor, same burrs, and same grind quality as the E6P, but not the same price. So if you can do without timed grinding, you can save a couple hundred dollars. The E5P uses Chiato's Steady Lock system, a feature you'll find on their more expensive grinders. Steady Lock ensures a constant spacing between the burrs for a very consistent particle size in the grinds. Now, one thing I really like with Chiato grinders is just how easy they are to clean and calibrate. On the E5P, just loosen the lock screw on the stepless adjustment collar and then remove the stop screw and then turn to a coarser setting until the collar comes off. Underneath the top burr, a metal ring helps to seal the grinding chamber. Now on some grinders, that grinding chamber is much more open to the threads of the adjustment collar. On those, it's really only a matter of time until coffee and coffee oils work their way up into those threads. Once that happens, it can become difficult to turn the collar to adjust grind size. Now that's usually not a problem on the E5P with its better sealing of the grinding chamber. The discharge chute is tubular metal and the angle delivers grounds neatly into a portafilter. The chute is held in a plastic housing which can be removed for deep cleaning of internal parts. A removable spring metal flap controls delivery from the grinding chamber. The exterior is an alloy housing sitting on a tough plastic base. A detachable tray catches any stray grounds for easy cleanup. Overall, the grinder stands just under 17 and a half inches high from its base to the top of its polycarbonate hopper, which holds one and a quarter pounds of beans. Overall, I think the E5P is a tremendous value. To compare, a lot of folks consider the Barazza Vario as the entry into high-end grinding for espresso. But when you evaluate the specs, the E5P is a clear winner for espresso-focused grinding. You get bigger burrs, more powerful motor, stepless adjustment, and commercial build for about the same price. Now that said, the Vario is more versatile. It can switch quickly to grinding for other brewing methods and does have the presets for timed grinding. So, if espresso is your game and you can do without timed grinding, it's hard to beat the value of this Chiato. That's the E5P. It's available now at holatelove.com. If you have any questions on this grinder or anything coffee, ask in the comments below and I'll get you the answers. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll be back soon for more of the good stuff on everything coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by holatelove.com. Oh.